video has been sponsored by King Maps Five Guard and Just Scripts. Check their website in the description. Hello everyone, welcome to Success Development. In this video, we are going to install a cartridge system, or we can say a reload system for our tasers into our 5M server. So as you can see over here, we can use tasers unlimited time as we want. We can even use tasers non-stop, unlimited time without any requirement of reloading. So we are going to fix this in this video. So yes guys, without any further ado, let's get to the installation process. So this is the script which you are going to install into a 5M server. I'll put the link in the description below. You just need to scroll down over here. Then click on this getup link. After that, click on code and download the script. After downloading it, we just need to extract the file into our 5M resource folder. So I'll be extracting it over here. Just like this. Now rename the file and remove the main from the name. Now open the file. Go to images. Then copy this image from here. Now paste into your cube inventory. For that, open the cube inventory. HTML. Images. And paste your image over here. Just like this. Now we have to add the item. For that, open the cubico. Shared. Items.lua. Now come to the very bottom line of the code. Now open the cartridge folder. Then config.lua. Here you will see the name of the item which is mentioned over here. So we just need to copy an item from here. Now paste it over here because we need to create an item. For that we just need to copy the name of the item from here. Then paste it over here. Now same we have to do it over here. Just like this. Now change the label. Now for the image section we just need to open the image folder. Then copy the name from here. Then paste it over here. Just like this. So just like this, we have to create the item. From here, we can configure our whole cartridge system. On the framework section, we just have to keep it on auto. And we can configure the spam cooldown system from here. So I'll be keeping it default for now. And from here, you can configure the amount of shots which you will get when you reload your taser. So I'll be keeping it default for now. So yes guys, that's it for the installation part. Now let's start the server. So we are in a server now. Now let's check out our teaser. So as you can see in the bottom right section, you can see the amount of shots which are currently available in our teaser. So as you can see, it is 3 by 3. So now let's use the teaser. Okay, it's now 2 by 3. Now it's 1 by 3. And now it's 0 by 3. Okay, we are out of shots now. So let's try to fire the teaser. So as you can see, it is not possible to fire because we don't have any shots left. So let's take out our cartridge. So I'll be giving myself a cartridge. So as you can see, we got a cartridge over here. Now let's take out our taser. We just need to press R to reload our taser. As you can see, our taser got reloaded now. Now we can easily use our taser. As you can see. So as you can see, just like this, we can use the cartridge system. So yes guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos related to 5M development. Goodbye.